show you how you can prepare a seed bed completely by hand. I mean with your hands. And I'm going to share with you also one of the top and I think overlooked reasons to use mulch in your garden. Mulching your garden with hay like this has a lot of benefits. It obviously keeps the weeds down, it retains moisture, it fosters bacterial and fungal life in your garden soil. But there's another reason to mulch your garden that I just don't hear talked about that much. So I'm gonna start by just pulling back this mulch. First of all, there's all kinds of life down here. All kinds of bugs. You can see worm castings right here. It's not terribly rich soil, but it's just what I call conditioned. It's moist. It's had earthworms moving through it. One of the best reasons to put mulch in your garden is that it makes bed prep really, really easy. While many of mulching's benefits are building long-term soil fertility, you actually get an almost immediate benefit from mulching your garden because of the life that it encourages. It's almost unimaginable just to be able to take your hand and stick it down into the soil in any other setting except for in the forest where mulch is commonplace. And all you need to do to prep this soil for shallow rooted crops like greens and kale, stuff we're about to plant, is rake it. That's it. No heavy work, no rototiller, just rake the soil and you can plant. That took about five minutes. I will have to do a little bit more smoothing and pull some rocks out of there for real fine seeded varieties. If we didn't have this area mulched, not only would we have probably quite a bit of grass and weeds to contend with, but the area would not be conditioned by moisture, by living organisms, and by the decomposition of the hay. I made this video and I wanted to share this with you because sometimes I think we do things the hard way. Mulching makes everything easier. It makes your garden more productive. That was another great day on our little homestead. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow.